So I'm back working on the kit for Rocket Mark II and in this video I'm going to cover some of the other frames and just show how they differ from frame 5 which I glued up in the previous video. Some of the frames such as 1 and 2 have joints at the keel where the angles are a little bit steeper. Some of the frames open up in the deck beams where the hatch is positioned. There's also frame 4 which is where the hull step happens so there's a few different things going on there with that frame. So I'll get putting the rest of the frames together and we'll see how some of them slightly differ from frame 5 which I've already done. So this is frames one and two then. These are quite similar. They've both got joints down in the keel because the angle of these timbers are slightly steeper. It doesn't really work out efficiently to try and get a piece of timber out of this part in one piece. And you'd end up with the grain too much of the wrong angle for the frame. So they've both got a joint on the keel, which means they've got an additional gusset there. So that's again aligned in the same way. And you can see how that goes together with additional dowels down in the keel part. So that's the uh, forward two frames in the boat. So frame three then is one of the frames that falls in the area of the boat that has the engine hatch. So you've got this separated part in the middle of the deck beam that then forms your engine hatch opening. Um, and that's the reason for you having the two additional dowels up at the top in the center there. That just helps you to align these deck beams and make sure that they're correctly positioned. So frame four then is probably one of the most unique frames in the boat. It's got an opening in the deck beams for the hatch as well. And it's also where the hull step happens. There's no step at the chines, so the chines run straight through and you've just got a two and a half inch step at the keel. So you've got these little sections on the aft side of the frame which support the floor from this frame back. The main floor frame is slightly deeper, which carries the forward part of the hull. So what happens at the keel with this frame is that the aft keel comes through the top side of the frame just here. The forward keel fits to the face of this frame, so you've got your keel filler block which spaces the aft and the forward keels at the correct angle, and then that fits onto the front side of this frame. So that's what's going on with frame four. Frame six then is much the same as frame five, just a complete ring frame with a floor section, a deck beam and two sides. So there's nothing much different going on there. Frame seven then, which is the transom. Uh, this is the only other frame that I've glued up. And the reason for that really was just to cover a couple of corrections that I wanted to do from the previous video. So a few people just pulled me up on the fact that I didn't thicken the epoxy on the joints, which is right of them to do so, I should have done that. So I just wanted to show the gluing up process, how I should have done it before. So apologies for that. What you want to do is to wet out the end of the joints as I did in the previous video, but the epoxy that is then actually on the glue up stage should be thickened. I've just used some colloidal silica mixed in with the standard West for that. So I just wanted to cover that little uh, indifference, little mistake I made in the previous video. I've also found a slightly better technique for when it comes to gluing up. What I found was actually better was to pull the bottom two dowels out of the frame construction board and what that enables you to do is just to slide the side sections up into the deck beam and then slide the floor up into the side sections which just means that you're compressing the glue in a much better way into the frame as opposed to sliding the sides down from the top which has got a sort of tendency to scrape the glue off of the joint as you press them in. So I just wanted to show that as well as a slight improvement from uh, what I did previously. So the transom then again is a, a complete ring frame. Uh, the difference with this is that you only have gussets on the forward side because of course the transom board goes on the aft side. So what I've done here for now is I've just glued up the gussets on the forward side of the transom and I'm going to leave the transom board off. The reason for that is that you're going to have battens coming through all of these parts when the boat's actually assembled and it's much easier to carry them on through the framework and then just cut them flush afterwards and put the transom board on 
at that stage, it'll be a much neater job. So um, I'm going to leave that off there for now. As you can see, the batten cutouts don't come through the transom board because you don't want to see the ends of those afterwards and you don't really want the end grain exposed either. That's the reason for that. Okay, so that's a full kit of frames put together for Rocket Mark II. What I'm going to cover in the next video is just putting together all of the constructional forms, uh, the keel form and all the rest of the legs for these frames. And then we should be in a position where we can start assembling the boat. So I'll show you how the strong back's made and how everything else goes together from there on. Okay, cheers guys. I'll catch you in the next video.